Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play World of Warcraft Wrath of Lich King. This time we are going to play on Sunveld server Anchorfire from 1 to 80 with times 4 leveling rates and some Helium equipped as you can see right here. So this should be very fun and chill and very easy walkthrough I guess. Something you can maybe leave running in the background. I've played from 1 to 80 countless times with different characters and different servers so Maybe I can give you some insight or new knowledge on some stuff that you, well, don't know about yet. So yeah, would like you to join me here on this journey and without further ado, I would just say have fun and I see you in a minute. The population on the server is still pretty high. I think at peak times they still reach around 4.5k players, which is pretty insane considering that they are, well, live since about one year now. So first things first, we are going to slay some boars. I mean, it wouldn't be World of Warcraft otherwise, right? And level 3 already. Like with the times 4 rating boosts, it, well, goes by very fast. Usually I play Hunter, but this time I went with Rogue again. I think it's like about 6 months maybe. I didn't play a Rogue, so... Well, it's not really something new for me, but then again, compared to the times I've played Hunter, it's at least something different once in a while, so I'm going to enjoy this, I think. Especially since we are rocking this badass equipment already, and I think it's always fun to play rogues or any melee class in general with some nice equipment. For this let's play, I'm really focusing on going all the way to level 80. I've got another let's play series on this channel, which unfortunately, well, didn't finish. But it was mainly due to the fact that the rates were pretty low and don't get me wrong, like I've played on countless times one servers, I even recently played on the new Echoes server from Gamer District, and I'm almost level 80 there too, so as you can see, huge fan, no problems also playing on times one servers. But the thing is, for Let's Play series, I really need a high rate server, at least times four rates as we have it here, because, well, how can I put this? When I play World of Warcraft, I usually need something to just leave running in the background and on a times one server it's very time consuming otherwise and if I want to make a let's play series I need those high rates in order to have a foreseeable end of the series itself. It was actually one of my first projects on this channel, I think it was back in 2016, let's play on Dalaran WoW, which in itself is a pretty good server but with eh, not the best community, let's put it like that. I probably won't do every quest in this starting area, just because, well, I think after the Scorpid Worker quest in Sarkov, we are about to hit level 6, and level 6 is usually the time you can leave the area and progress faster by doing so. I guess that's one of the negative aspects about having high leveling rates. It sometimes can get a bit frustrating not to do every quest, because I'm in some sort kind of a completionist, so I like actually having everything done, but if I'm doing Quake quests here, it, it's really not something worthwhile. There we go, level 5. Fortunately, Sarkov just died, but let's see how fast the respawn rates are enabled on the server with NPCs like that, because that's something I enjoy sometimes, some sort of modification on private servers, if they well, increase the rates with special NPCs so that you don't have to wait that long, especially on servers that have a very high population. I think I won't bother with the Lazy Peons quest, and I advise you to do the same if you are on a high rate server. Like, if you can manage to skip it, then you probably should. Also, if you need to wait for an NPC, I would always advise you to at least kill some of the other NPCs around, just not to waste time, you know. I think if I'm just waiting here, it's, it's really a loss in efficiency and, well, it's already kind of sad that I wasn't able to kill him right at the start. But it would be even worse if I would just stay right here and do nothing. There we go. Quest complete. We are about to hit level 7 already and it's a good thing that I have a high level character on the server, otherwise I wouldn't be able to afford a lot of the skills we can, thanks to, well, having some cash in my pocket. Again about Dalaran WoW and the Let's Play I've never finished. This time around I'm really going to. And I know, uh, well, it's hard for you to take my word for it, I guess, since I think 
I already started like a lot of let's plays on this channel I didn't really go through completely with but it's always been something I really wanted to achieve and I actually started this channel with like a let's play of World of Warcraft or Wrath of the Ditch King just because I enjoy this game so very much but I'm going to pre-produce a lot of the episodes and I think when you're watching this one right here the first episode I probably have a lot of other episodes in stock already I would probably advise you to be around level 7 at least when you are in this area. I think level 6 it might be a bit too extreme, a bit too difficult, especially for classes like Hunters. They are going to pull a lot of the enemies around and you don't have a pet yet. Also as a warrior it can be quite harsh, so at least maybe bring a buddy with you or be level 7 or higher. I've went with mining for my gathering profession and this will probably be the only one that I'm going to skill right now. Since this is such a high rate server it doesn't make sense to bring up my professions with me, like the crafting professions at least. So just gathering some stuff and hopefully getting mining up with me as long as I can. And in that way I even can make some cash while leveling and later on once I hit level 80. Well, I'm just going to buy some of the stuff I need in order to get engineering or jewel crafting. Again, on high rate servers, I think this is the better way around. If you can afford it, I would also always advise you to buy some of the copper first, then smelt it and then go mining. But again, it might not be a thing you can do since maybe if this is your first character on a server, there's no way you have enough gold to buy copper in the auction house. But if you can, then do this because well, mining stuff itself will increase your profession far further than just smelting it. So you can get a nice boost by smelting and then just mining the veins. And in that way it will increase a lot better than if you just go for the copper from the veins, then smelt it. At least if you do it this way, like I'm doing it right now, then at least smelt your copper as soon as possible so you get a nice boost from, from smelting. Because otherwise it will just turn grey eventually. Interesting little bug right here. Who's covered gold vein? Of course that's not something that should be around here. But then again this is a common bug in private servers that veins are just misplaced entirely. I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure that around this area there's probably also a mithril vein. Which of course is actually something you should just be getting far far later into the game. Another piece of advice, usually don't do those quests first. I would advise you to go to Razor Hill, pick up some quests and then with those combined you have a nice quest hub around this area with like 6 instead of 4 quests. But since we have this high rates we are going to go just right there and well then probably already advance to the Barons because with that quest you just saw me handing in we are level 9 already. Unfortunately there's no smith in Sunshine Village so we have to wait until Razor Hill in order to smelt the copper and well have the advantage I just talked about. By the way another reason you should go around this area first is that usually you are around level 5 or 6 when you are finished with the centaur quest here and then this area is just way too difficult. Like I think even at level 9 it can be a bit harsh but level 9 is the level you can go there, even at level 8 you can go there and do it. You just have to be a bit patient and well be careful not to pull a lot of the enemies and you're going to see shortly what I mean with that. If you are going to go to Razor Hill first then this would be in a quest for example like smashing those eggs. I think the quest is even called breaking some eggs. I was thinking about getting leather working, oh sorry not leather working again that's not something you should get on high rate servers, uh, about getting skinning actually but then I checked the prices in the auction house and it's hardly anything you can make money with. Later on yes but although it takes little time to skin those mobs after you kill them it's still some sort of time sink and I again want to be as efficient as possible to progress fast, to get to level 80 and you just make so much more money at high level and you make so much more money with gathering ores. So as you can see right here it's very easy to encounter a lot more enemies than you want since they also run away and 
can heal each other and also have this annoying debuff they place on you. So be very careful if you are not over equipped as me and maybe even a little low on the level. Playing Rogue at this stage is very straightforward. I mean, except for Sinister Strike, you don't really have much to do. Sinister Strike and Visit Rate if your target survives long enough. And if you are rocking daggers, then you can look into going for backsteps here and there, but actually like the only time you can do this, if you are solo at least, is at the start of the fight if you go stealth and then backstep. But yeah, right now, I mean, no point really. We have such nice equipment. We went with a sword, which means I'm also going combat. Again, as far as skills go for leveling, Combat is just the way to go, I guess. For now, I'm just going to put some points into improved Sinister Strike. Probably also three points in Dual Wield. And then just go from there. Precision is a very nice talent. Always great to increase your hit chance. And Deflection is also great because of Repost. And again, just something for leveling later on, like when you are raiding and just PvE content with groups, then that doesn't make any sense. But for now, it's very important, actually thing about mining is right now we probably are going to out level it very fast i mean we are level 10 we are about to hit the barons and well even though we smell some copper we are probably just going to get to about level 45 maybe 35 sorry but it's going to be a time when things are going to slow down significantly and that is the time when we want our profession to be at least on par with our level so i think it's worth investing at least some time into this i'm probably going around Rotar for a few more minutes and gathering some materials so I can at least bring up mining with me and I think it's a nice compromise between investing some time but then again not having too much of a time sinker right there and there we go level 11 so not the usual kind of progression you have here at this point at this part of the game a few years back I was actually pretty purist when it came to leveling and raids and all that stuff on private servers and was, well, I guess you could call an adversary of high raids, but yeah, that changed a bit since I've just come from a time spawn server from 1 to 80 all the way and I've played this game so much. It's just super relaxing actually to have some nice and easy progress right here. It's a lot of fun. Again, World of Warcraft is never hard, but it can be very time consuming and you have to invest a lot of time sometimes. So yeah, just great feeling right now to rush through the content with those heal rooms and not care about too much, I guess. I'm probably going to skip Razor Hill altogether. Again, level 11, so. So I think after leveling in my professions like mining and probably I'm also going to learn first aid, which is in this area right here. Yeah. We are going to head to the Barrens right away. I guess something I should have mentioned at the beginning of the video is that I already went to Undercity and also Okruma, like at level 1, in order to gain my weapon skills, because otherwise I wouldn't even be able to wield swords right now, but I just wanted a straight good walkthrough like without caring too much and well with already from the start having a very overpowered character. So that's the reason why like it's not actually that orcs usually have swords at this time. Just as a short reminder that's not nothing special about the server or anything. No, that's really still plus like and that's something I did myself in order to be as overpowered as possible as soon as possible. Alright, I almost made my way to the Barrens and picked up some more copper veins on my way there and smelted them immediately, so we are rocking 52 mining right now. Once we get that and we get to, I think, 65 in mining, then we can smelt bronze, so that's also something you should do. Like, don't, oh, sorry, don't just sell all of your copper bars. Um, well, for one, if you are smithing, engineering or jewel crafting, you wouldn't do that anyway, right? Because, well, you need him to skill. But if you are just going to gather professions and, well, you want to sell them right away, at least save up a few of those copper bars because you will need them in order to smelt prawns and 
that again is something that's very handy when it comes to bringing up your skill right here and well will allow you to keep up your skill with your levels so keep that in mind there we are crossroads one of the more memorable places in world of warcraft and also one of the more well not really crossroads but the uh, barons barons chat itself something you should always always remember is picking up the quests of course i guess that's just the usual stuff but even more important set your hearthstone like i don't know how many times i've played this game and forgot to set my hearthstone at the new area that i've gone to and well used it then later on and just got very frustrated especially in the early levels when there are no flight paths and you don't have a mount you just have to walk a very very long march again back to your questing area so yeah usually the first thing you should always do before actually doing anything else is set the hearthstone all right i'm going to well finish some more smelting until i have 65 in order to pick up tin veins and after that yeah probably new part so for now this should be it thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this first let's play part on world of warcraft and i hope to see you in the next run so until then have a great day and bye